What up, what up, what up? It's your boy D House in the building. Back at it again at So Far. Another video, another quick video so far. Wanna come over today. I just left the Inglewood Pro Parade thing. Festival. They had over there on Market Street in Inglewood. So I come by so far to see another little video. Bear with me. I'm walking a little slow. Legs are sore. Turn my camera down real fast. Here's the man made lake. They have today. Got other birds. They look like ducks in the water. <clears throat> over here, see they do a more construction. Have a big pile of dirt over there. Not sure what that's going to be. Zoom in a little bit. This, these are right, this construction is right next to the you know, condos they're going to own the property with so far. Give you a little zoom in on that. Look at the water. I wonder what, why the water looks like that. There's water coming out of that. Yes, this is circulate the water. See the birds in the water enjoying the water. See go sliding around. Got a big sofa sign over there. How y'all done today? There's the condos they built behind the trees over here. Let's see if we can get a closer look at this waterfall here. Feels good to be over here. Just a look at these birds. I like that. Airplane flying over. Flying over so far. Got the YouTube theater over there. Right behind the sofa sign. Feels good over here, nice ocean breeze. Got a seagulls posted up over there. Yeah, this is turning out to be a nice venue. 
making great weight straight strides over here for us construction hopefully next year or so everything can be completed you know they have a movie theater here uh, a lot of housing some housing uh nfl corporate office is here um So yes, this is a great, great place to come and hang out at. Great for you to be here. You know, I recommend this to anybody come and hang out. Try to catch your Ram or Charger game or all kinds of events. They have concerts here too. You know what I'm saying? So I recommend coming to Inglewood, California to have a good time and uh, and enjoy yourself. So it's, it's a great place to be, you know, come and enjoy yourself. My name is Kevin Gale, so look me up here on YouTube. You wanna to, wanna to come out and we have a pretty video to take you around the, the pound pound here. You know, it's really fun and exciting there. So it's a great place to be. <clears throat> what the waterfall looks like. A lot of people walk around checking it out. Probably the first time ever here. Get a good look at it. Try to create some content here. It's a hell of a compound, hell of a complex. Not sure what this building is here. Somebody said they had a museum thing here. So that might be it right there. I know that's the parking structure there, but not sure what this building is here. I know that's the, behind that building is NFL corporate offices. That's the NFL corporate office in another building. So I'm not sure what it is. A lot of great parking there. Great venue. A lot of people come and just to hang out, walk around. Now look at the condos that they're building over there. Should be almost done with it. Working hard to get it done. They're almost done with it. I've been following this venue since day one, since they started construction. And uh, it's great it's here. Miss Hollywood Park Racetrack, but I'm glad it's here. Uh, the Clippers Arena is coming soon. We still have the form uh, right across the street on the one side uh, of, of SoFi. And the Clippers Arena are down the street. Uh, Steve Ballmer, he owns the form. He just bought the form a couple years ago. and. Uh, and then he owns the Clippers and building a new stadium. So it's working out well for him. Uh, so y'all come on down and check it out. People are coming to take the tour. You know, the seating is kind of high here. I would take the tour, but you can't videotape inside. Uh, you take pictures and stuff, but they won't allow you to video record. Maybe one day when I had the money, I'll come and take the tour. Southwest Airlines flying over. Southwest Airlines. I know I don't own the rights to that. Yeah, it's a good looking stadium, man. They did a good job with it. It's an open air stadium, meaning it's covered, but but air can still get through it. You know, so when it's cold, it's cold, you know. Other than me working with CSC inside, I've never been inside personally just to be inside. I never went to a game yet. 
I'm hoping to go into a game soon, buy some tickets, go to a game. I want to see the Chargers and Rams play one day. Yeah, when I went to the Inglewood Festival on Market Street, I left my microphone, so I wasn't able to really record like I want to. Pick up good mic stuff. So once I get home, I, the, the videos I, I did take with my cell phone, I'm gonna upload it to YouTube and upload the pictures as well to Facebook and uh, go from there. Another big airplane flying over. People are taking the tour, it looks like. Pretty good place to come chill out at. It's cool to hang out over here, chill. Did y'all take the tour of the stadium? Yeah. How was it? It was a good time. Yeah. You see it already? Oh, you've been in there a lot of times. Man, I don't see that stadium so much now. I know the back of my hand. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Can't wait to see when everything's out. Right, right. The yeah, on the other side of the apartments here, the condos, they built a movie theater. Yeah, with Yeah, so that's a movie theater over there yeah. and a couple other little venues over there. Yeah, yeah. And the shopping, they'll have some shopping too. Yeah. So I think that's what this part, I think this part will be a hotel right here, I think. Yeah, And uh, I would not be surprised. Yeah. Right. So yeah, they say they're supposed to have a hotel and some shopping. Right. So. Right, it is, yeah. Yeah, I come here sometime, usually on Saturday, early Saturday morning, about seven o'clock when they allow you. I come in, I do like three or four times around, you know. Now I'm shooting some video for YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a good place to do that, you know. Last Saturday I came, there was a guy here with a hawk chasing off the seagulls. Yeah, yeah, because they have the hawks. They said they use the hawks. They use the hawks. They're, they're from here. Right. They train. They're really birds. Because this, this is what they do. Yes. You know, then they, then they, the pit seagulls leave it in the water and they mess up the water, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's not that deep. But that part, like it might be deep out there. Yeah, probably so. Yeah, I know, right? You know that's YouTube theater right there, right? Yeah, I saw that. Did they take you inside of there? It's like a, another a, another type concert venue, so so if, if let's say like like that Michelle Obama was in there doing a doing a thing in there, oh, yeah. Oprah was in there when they did it. Sometimes, yeah. then uh, if you want, like it's six 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 to seven thousand people. So if somebody want a small concert venue, yeah, yeah. they can do six to seven thousand people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they want to have a graduation. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 A friend of my son, school, they had their graduation in it. <coughs> All right, man. Hey, have a best day, man. Oh, y'all too. Have a good one. Take it easy. Seagulls out there drinking, doing their thing.
of the airplane flying over on this side. Checking out the birds, the seagulls, as they land in good water. It must not be too deep, the seagulls are standing there. Yeah, pretty good place to be so far. Sorry, I wasn't talking. I'm trying to take pictures as well. So I'm going to post them on my YouTube page, in my Facebook page. Yeah, somebody's texting me at the same time. So yeah, it's a pretty good place to get the airplane fly over. Should zoom in on it. Have you seen a stadium? Raiders? Yeah. 
I've actually been there. Oh, uh, yeah. No, we only seen it driving by when we were in Vegas. If you get a chance to go back to Vegas again. Pretty badass, too. Yeah. They have tours. Yeah. They have tours. Yeah. That stadium is is worth, is well worth the money. That's what I heard. I, I, I heard it. I heard it. Three, three, million, three billion dollars less. And, than and they have retractable grass. Yeah, you can see the right. Arizona State Stadium was the first to have that grass where they, you can pull it out. And then put it back in. they have a place outside that that, that helps they water it, yeah. saves the grass. Because Al Davis thing was football is meant to play on grass. Real grass. Real grass. Yeah. So. His stadium has real grass in there. Yeah. So they have a thing outside, so they pull it out. Then it saves it too when they have concerts in there. Yeah. That's why that's why when Al Davis uh was the was the owner, um, they played on the baseball field still. Right. But that, regardless whatever you say about the Raiders, that stadium, no, it's a badass stadium. No, I I, I we were just talking about it. it, it it's badass because it's brand new, too. Right. Modern. It, it, no, even 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 though they built newer stadiums since then. Yeah. This stadium rival is better than any other new stadium that's out there. Better than this one? Yeah. It has more amenities. Yeah. It has more interaction. This one doesn't have a lot of interaction with the with the kids. They have more interaction for kids. You know, there. And everything here is the same on every side. Yeah. So there's every side is different. Yeah, you can't be like, oh, over there is the, where the shit's at. Yeah, no. Over here, everything's the same. Over there is, is different things throughout the whole stadium. Yeah. So, and it's, and, and, the seating is not that bad. This year, way up there at the top is really bad. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't. I, I was telling her I wouldn't want to walk up that moment. Yes, I I I, I work Steve. here. With, I work here part time during the game, and so I I walk up. And I'm like, God damn! I'm looking down. It's scary. It's scary. To go down. You gotta lean back to go it's down. It's scary. Yeah, I don't yeah. like that. I thought I told you even at Petco Park. Yeah. Uh, with the Padres play, I don't even like the high seat. Fucking. Yeah. The pigeon seats up. And I get what they was trying to do with the seating, but they should have had it down more where it's even leveled out easy. It's fucking steep, huh? Get somebody get drunk. Fall, and all it takes is somebody's drunk. They can't walk right, and they fall down, and and and, and, and hope they don't die. But we hope and pray it doesn't never happen. But it's it's, it's going to happen. This type of stadium where the seats are in here. Yeah, I always buy my tickets down low when I get, get tickets. I pay the pay the more expensive tickets and bring them out low. I don't want. I wouldn't want to walk yeah. that shit either. I, I'm, Listen, I'm, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm 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 glad Stan Crockett came and built yeah, the stadium yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Four team and brought his Rams back yeah, here. Yeah. We all appreciate that. If you're a Rams fan or a Chargers fan, right. but the stadium is too. And I understand they had to go down 100 feet down the ground because of the airplanes. Yeah. You know, so not only is it up high, it's when you go in there, you let you gotta look down to the to the ground. Yeah. yeah. Normally the stadium is, is like right, pretty much on. right there. Yeah, yeah. you're looking down. Yeah. To kind of see him a little bit, where you gotta you gotta go down a little bit, but it's not that bad though. For sure. Even with the way they did the Coliseum. Their stadium seating, the seating is not that bad. At least it's a thing at the top of your protection, you know. And you, you got to, they, they put the rails in. Yeah, so at right least here you, is free fall. So you can at least hold on to the rail going down, you know. Right here, there's no, there's no rails. Right. All right, bro. All right, are y'all from here? No, San Diego. Okay, enjoy, be safe going home. No, we're going to stay for a couple of days. Okay, well, have a good time here. All right. We're, right. we're going to go to Drake's house right now. That's right. I get it done. Pay me some video. The art is to make it go eight or nine times, not just two or three. You got to perfect that. <laughs> you, got, you got eight or nine? I, man, I used to do 10 to 15. Okay, okay. I, ask my man right here. He know about that. He know when we was kids. The rock skipping contest. Oh, no, I need a real rock. Can't use that. We got to have real rocks. Sorry. Hi. Yeah. You know what that is right there? You know, oh, yeah, yeah. you know what that is? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the new uh, Clippers thing. Yeah. yeah. Everybody don't know what that is. People always ask, what is that? Like, no, that's the new Clippers house. You know, he bought the form. So he went and had a lawsuit. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Because when the so people it just that, bought them out, <laughs> the people that own uh, Madison Square Garden had bought the forum initially, right, right, and they thought they had the, the exclusive right to have concerts. Mm -hmm. So when it was announced that Sam Crunky was going to do this, the people that own their church decided to sue. So there was three losses, then it became two. Then in 2020, the forum went into escrow with Stan Crunky, and he bought it for 42 million dollars. He's worth 90 billion, so it doesn't matter to him. So he made sure he got it. So now he don't have to worry about the lawsuit. Right, right. Build a stadium and do whatever he wants to now. I go over there and film videos to show the process on well, YouTube. New Intuit Dome over there. Too bad they don't have no stuff for the kids over here. Oh, yeah. Nah, this is like riding in here. Yeah. yeah. But no, there's some, like the, I was just telling the couple, the stadium for Raiders in Vegas, mm -hmm. outside the stadium, they have a place like this. We also, too, have stuff, monkey bars and stuff, with like swings and oh, stuff for kids. Yeah. yeah. So when you guys come up, you ride the bike, the kids can play on the monkey bars yeah, and yeah, yeah. ride, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, Hang out. Cool. Yeah, they have a little grass area uh -huh. where they can chill and play football on. Oh, okay. So you stand, you still get to see the stadium outside. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I wish they had stuff like this for us when we was kids. I know. You know, I mean, they have parks and stuff, but, but not like, nothing like this. Yeah, nothing yeah. like this. Not, it's really not even there, right. So you can bring the kids and see, you expose them to seeing stuff like this. Uh -huh. Get them out, get them instead of just being around the hood. You know, oh, them, yeah. Yeah, you know, expose them there. Uh -huh. I, I, I remember years ago, I was, when I was 25, no, yeah, 25, I lived in the jungle. I met this girl. I, like, I said, come on, take a ride with me. I said, where are we going? I said, don't worry. So I took her to a place, so I bought her, I said, pick out a bathing suit. So I bought me some swim trunks and I had a tank top. Some aid on the way. I took her to the beach. She says, oh, wow. I said, what? It's my first time ever to the beach. Yeah. 20, 26 years old that at that I time. Didn't, I didn't know, not that old, but like my um, my wife is from LA. I'm from New Orleans. And uh, one of her cousins was, um, my wife was in law school. She was studying for a test. And a cousin came by and she was talking to her cousin. She said, uh, her cousin said she had never been to the beach before. She was like, Serious? And she said, "Yeah." She was, she was 18, so she went 25. But still, that's old enough. Yeah, yeah, I know that's still that's still bad. But it's like, so she's like, "No, nah. I got. So I need to be doing. I need to be studying. But like, getting the class. Come on, let's like, go. Yeah. So, so she took no it to the reason, beach. Like, there's no reason why you should be this old and not ever been to the beach. Yeah. So like, no, nah, we're gonna go do this right now. But that's a lot in LA. That's a lot in LA. I know. You yeah. run into a lot of that here. Yeah. Uh, friend of my son, two years ago. Uh. He wanted to go to the real studio for his birthday, my oldest son. Mm -hmm. So we all got together, went to the real studio. So they, uh, they invited another couple that they hang out with. Mm -hmm. This was their first time. I mean, they, my son is 38 they, uh -huh. and they're they, they almost 40. Uh -huh. Both of them, it was their first time to the real studio. Yeah. My son, said, my son said, you guys are almost 40. Uh -huh. And they had their kids, when they had three kids, they had their kids. She said, we never even thought of taking our kids to stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they make money. They both, both of them are lawyers. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so I'm yeah, like, not like, you mean to tell yeah, me? Yeah, it's just something. I think sometimes when you, when you live, when you have access to everything, you don't appreciate it. Right, right. Cause yeah. Because um, you here. When I, when we first, when I first moved here, we lived out in the Inland Empire. And we used to go to beach, like, Daddy. not all the time, but we went Daddy. enough. Right. And then, Daddy. what, babe? Do you see stuff that we're putting there? They're yeah. heading the water and sticking their butt out. I see. Funny. But then when we moved to LA, I mean, the beach is 15 minutes away in the first two, right. two and a half years. We never went it. We never went to the beach for like, we were right. living in three years before we went to before the beach. Before you went to the beach. But at least we you went. went. It was further away. Right, right. We, we went a lot more. So we go a lot more. We definitely, we, we go a lot now. So, so your wife still a lawyer? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So but we, we, I mean, they like going to the beach. So right. I'm always out there. Yeah, it's good to expose the kids or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, so at least they can grow and say, hey, I, I would have been there. You know, yeah, then they can yeah, still well, enjoy, you know. It took us an hour, two hours right. to get, like, the closest beach. Right. It was two hours away from where I lived at, so, like, it's a blessing to be able to be that close to it. It's, I found out there's little stuff in there in the water that, that they can eat, but the, the things that's in the water is designed to get rid of the bacteria. Oh, but they, okay. they, they can eat it. it. It won't hurt them. Okay. 
So that's what they're doing. They're diving for whatever, the little food down there. I'm opening up, I like the fish. I'm hoping they put something in there. Yeah, they do have a little, I think they, put, they do some, put something in there. Oh, I forgot okay. what kind of, what they put in there for them to eat on too. Okay. But there's some other stuff in there that they designed that's at the water. Okay. And the water that's designed for them to eat too. Yeah, a lot of times they'll put this fish called like, uh, they call it carp. They're big, yeah. kind of ugly looking fish. But they eat a lot of like algae. Stuff. Right, yeah, yeah. So I think that's what they're eating, the algae. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so I'm hoping they put some of them in the Right. Corner. It usually be seagulls out here. I mean, not seagulls, but the, the geese. It's oh, the geese okay. that used to be here when the Hollywood Park race track was here. Uh -huh. They could periodically come back. It'd be about six or seven of them. Oh, really? Because it used to be a time where I live on right here on uh, 8th Avenue and 102nd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right behind the Smart Final. Uh -huh. So usually every morning when I'm leaving at 7 o'clock, I see about 10 or 15 geese fly over and they're flying here. Okay, yeah. So then when I get here, they, they land there in the water. Yeah. But I haven't seen them in a while. Okay. But sometimes they have a falcon to come and chase the birds off. Oh, yeah. So. That's cool right there. Obviously, they're not too scared. They used to people. Oh, I know. Yeah. A lot of used to people yeah. Too. yeah, that's cool right there. Even me, as old as I am, I still enjoy seeing that. Yeah, I come out here, I make... I do a tour of this myself and do YouTube videos for it. Oh, do you? Because a lot of people, they, they, they would never go there, so they got a chance to see it on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. One, one couple came. I didn't. See, the lady looked at me. She said, you be on YouTube, huh? I said, yeah. She said, I've seen one of your videos doing a tour here. Okay. So she said, that's one reason we and my husband tried to come on vacation to come out here. Uh -huh. We want to come to you see, see it up close. Uh -huh. She says, every bit of what you talked about, too, is nice. Okay. Yeah, because even like us, it was, um, I probably see people like cars and stuff like that. It was, I think it's probably only been a year. It was less than that. Right. That we, uh, we finally parked and came to take a look at it for right. ourselves. Yeah, I just came, Inglewood, over there on Market Street, they're having a festival, and there's supposed to be a parade today. Oh, like for Martin Luther King, oh, they had to reschedule oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Yeah. But because of the rescheduling thing, they didn't do the parade because a lot of the schools, bands and stuff that's supposed to be involved didn't do it. So now they just have, on Market Street blocked off, they have a lot of two stages and a oh, like tent set up. Uh, I, did, I saw them setting up. I thought they were shooting like a movie. No, they, so that's what that is. It's like a, the festival today. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so you got food vendors out there and everything. Yeah, I think they started doing their own Martin Luther King Parade too. Yeah. Cause a lot of little cities had their own Martin Luther King Parade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like they probably just, we don't have to wait for Right, right. Yeah. But then I guess cause they didn't, cause of the rescheduling with Martin Luther King, they, a lot of people just dropped off, you know. Yeah. All right, man. Enjoy your day, man. Okay, you take care. What's your uh, name? Kevin. Kevin? Yeah. Derek, nice All right, man. Nice to meet you. What? I'm glad to see see this, man. Uh, they they only little so long. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. Because yeah. because because once they grow up, get it, get in the cell phones and stuff. Oh, yeah, they they, 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 they forget about the parents. Yeah. Oh, I know. They forget about y'all, you and your yeah. wife. You know, you and their mama. So they 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 be like. Well, I my daughter, 20. Yeah. I go to FaceTime her. I know she did. Look at the phone and just. So I text her, why are you not answering your phone? Uh, and, and I have to kind of understand now she's in college. Yeah. Dad, I was in class. Uh -huh. I was in lab. Okay, yeah. I, I, but you could have called me back. I know, <laughs> you, know, right, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So now I'm like, so the other day she, she, she FaceTimed me. She said, Dad, what's up? I said, I'm, I, I don't get to talk to you a lot. Uh -huh. I, 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 I missed that. Yeah. Because we're very close. Uh -huh. You know, so I'm like, just talking to her. She said, but I'm in college. I said, I understand. I know. Yeah. But, but you know, I'm used to talking to you every day. I know. Yeah. You know, used to going to breakfast with you every Saturday or Sunday. So I don't have that now. Yep. So, and she's, Dad, you know I love you, right? <laughs> I know. You know, but show, re, re, show a little bit more. Respond to my text or phone call better. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So we, we miss it, though, you know. Yeah. I, I yeah. Over here by the sofa sign.
Yep, this is SoFi Stadium. It's a big SoFi sign. YouTube theater's right behind it. Yep, YouTube theater's right behind the SoFi sign. Little lady. You had the big sofa sign. Gotta love it. 36 minutes. Got the lady behind me. That's part of the seating right there inside the stadium. Nice venue, really nice venue. Billion Dollar Stadium. People come here to hang out, ride their bikes, walk, get their exercise on. Yeah, it's always good to talk to people. You know, let people know what's going on. Good to see that. So I guess I can get out of here now. Go home, chill out. You built that bike? Huh? You built that bike? Oh, no, no, no. I, put, I changed the wheels on it, but I didn't build it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. It's like, almost like mag wheels. Yeah, Good to see the birds out, hanging out. Like I say, into a dome over there, being built. Triple new arena. Good to see that from here. Nice stadium. Nice place to be, hang out at. Good spot to be at, hang out. Girlfriend, friends or family, you know. Had to drop out of 
backdrop of the water behind me as I'm filming. Plus I get to get my steps in, get a little exercise. Good place to be here, yeah. Clippers New Stadium and Suet Dome over there. Got some new construction. So be a good place to come hang out and shop. You don't get to see that too much up close. The birds feeding like that. Let me take it for you. Let me take a picture for you.
into a dome. Do you know the Clippers? The basketball team, the Clippers? Oh, yeah. That's their new stadium. Oh my god. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's their new stadium. Wow. Very, very good. Yeah. So they'll be right here, yeah. Camera? No. Uh, I paid almost $500 for it. $500? Yeah. Let me see. What, what container? Ah, yeah. And the model number. Uh, like that? Oh, okay. So you contact the, that? It's my phone. cell phone. A phone. Contact the phone. Huh? Yeah. Wow. It's a Lumix 300, actually. Oh, Lumix 300? Lumix 300. This is a Lumix? That's the, for the lens. Uh, lens. Yeah, ah. that's just that's for the lens side. Also, oh, you buy a lens yeah. separate? No, the, all of this came together. Oh, they together? Yeah. Oh, and they buy 100 or something like that? Yeah, about $500. Wow. And then how about this? Oh, the microphone is separate. Oh, separate. How I paid much? Uh, how much you pay? $60 for the microphone. Oh, my God. <laughs> $60? So then I can connect it to my camera. Oh. Okay. To have better, better pick, up, pick, up, pick up better, better audio. So it takes great pictures and video. Wow, very good. Yeah, nice. Oh my god, I want to buy it. <laughs> yeah? You buy it. Oh, where? Amazon? Or oh, yeah. Amazon? Huh? Oh, where, you, where, where you buy it? Where I buy? Yeah. Amazon. Amazon, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm such. All right. Have a nice day. You too. Have a nice day. <laughs> Take a picture of that. I did. You know what, it, what that is right there, right? Yes. The, 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 the Clippers New Stadium? Yep. My brother will be excited. That's right. Hello, how you doing? Did you take a picture of the Clippers new stadium? That's where the Clippers go play right there. Yeah. You know who the Clippers are? Yeah. Yeah. We're taking a tour. an hour and me being here filming a video. First time being here this long. Getting it in. Filming with both my digital camera and my cell phone. Guess I'll upload both. Got a chance to get a lot of the birds. Birds having fun in the water.
Yeah, it's a good place to be. You can come hang out to you. Scared the seagulls off. Yeah, they got the hawk out today. Scared the seagulls off. Seagulls poop everywhere. It's riding around the car. Yeah, the guy with the hawk is out today, huh? Caught the one last week. Yeah, it's good to see him scare off the seagulls. Leave all that stuff around. Yeah, we'll walk more, but I'm having 
some leg pain. You know, I have dealing with the leg pain. I'm getting old now. A little arthritis. So I just want to get a little view of the, get a little time out here. Get some more view of the, so far. They're the seagulls. They came back. Hawk just get them off temporarily. Good spot to be at. Huh? So it's a good spot to be at. Yeah, it is. I'm glad all those birds got out of here. Yeah, the hawks. You didn't see the hawks scare them off? No, I didn't see that. They have a guy, they have a, a thing where they hired a company that has the hawks mm -hmm. that come and scare them off. But they back now. They, they, they did a good job. Right. So they leave a lot of, they, they, they put a little poop in the water. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he'll be back, he'll be here for a couple of hours. He will scare them off again. You too. You get a picture of that? The Clippers Arena? That's where the Clippers go play at. I know. <laughs> yeah. But Steve Ballman, the owner, he bought the phone. I know. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of video. A lot of video. <coughs> Better see how I'm gonna do it. <coughs> when I get home, I guess I upload from my cell phone first, and then upload the stuff from my digital camera to my phone. Yeah, I'm glad I got that out. Want me to take it out through y'all? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, hey, no problem. I'm a pro at this. <laughs> well, I'm not a pro at taking it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a good phone to do it with. <laughs> one more, one more. All right, there you go. Thank you, sir. Make sure you get the one by the sign, too. Thank you. All right. You see the new clipper arena, huh? Oh, is that what that's yeah. going to be? Yeah, that's the Clippers arena right there. Oh, that's awesome. But you know, Steve Armour, that owns the Clippers, uh -huh. he bought the form too. So they, they were suing the people that owned it at first. Yeah. Because they thought they signed exclusive with Inglewood to be the only venue to have concert. Yeah. But when they built this, you know, people want an outdoor concert too. Yeah. So they, they went on it as dot dot. But then in, in, in 2020, in March, in April 2020, Steve Armour bought the form for $42 million. Wow. So now you have to worry about that. He got, a, he got two things he can go, free concerts. Right, right. You just missed the hawk scaring off the seagull. That's why they're way over there. All right, y'all have a good one.
right back where I started from. I like the rock formations. <laughs> 